What's going on everyone? My name is James Collector. If you're watching me for the first time, I'm Buffett Collector. I cannot keep up that energy. I am too freaking miserable. Um, right, it's still Friday from when I left off the week of the life of the last week. And I had 14 99s worth of sales all day. And I thought, let's just send out some offers. So first of all, I reduced the price of a lot of the Wii games and a couple of Xbox 360 games because obviously prices fluctuate all the time and I hadn't really checked the pricing on anything for about two years. Uh, so I, I just had to keep on adding quantity, adding quantity, adding quantity. Um, and when you've got like 10 GTA 5s, you know something's not quite right. So I sent out some offers anyway. And so far... I think I've had five people accept. I've had one person message asking why can't they accept what I've offered because it had already sold. Uh, it's only 10% off and um, so far it's, it's it's going quite nicely. Um, there's actually an auction that ends this week as well. I completely forgot about that. Um, there's two auctions that are ending this weekend. Um, so I sent out... A lot of offers, an incredible, stupidly lot amount of offers. So, so far, I think my it's taken a little while to catch up. It's at seventy three seventy three pounds sixteen pence for the day, which it should be at over a hundred now because there's something else has come through. But eBay on a computer is about ten minutes behind what's on my phone. Um, so if I go to print labels. There should be, yeah, see, there's a pair of shoes missing, which are like £25 by £22 because of the offer. So I've got a Pikachu hat, that horrible vintage O'Neill jacket, uh, ski jacket. She messaged first saying, will it be here by this date? I said, look, it's Friday. It'll be packaged up over the weekend. It will be at the post office Monday morning. She said, that's fantastic. Bought it straight away. Turns out um, someone actually messaged me uh, about 11 o'clock this morning about the same item asking if I'd reduce it to 20 quid and it sold for £31.49. The only thing is now everything is slightly squiffy on numbers and they're going to be all over the shop. <clears throat> but um, it would be interesting to see what I wake up to because obviously I think the offers are active for 48 hours, I think. So... Bearing in mind, I haven't got a lot of the largest small boxes that Royal Mail take. I think I've got three left. Um, so hopefully no one buys anything too big. Uh, I've edited The Week in Life off for last week. That's done. That's currently uploading. One hour, 45 minutes remaining because Plusnet is bloody terrible. And I cannot wait to leave you and go to EE. Um, yeah. I might go around and grab a few bits just so it's easier for me to, to grab things in the morning in case I get some, you know, I will get some time because the wife is going to go and see someone whose wedding we're going to this year. Wife's a maid of honour. Little Un is a flower girl, which is going to be fun because she's just hyperactive, um, as most two-year-olds are, as all two-year-olds should be, to be honest. <clears throat> right. I'm going to go and have a Horlicks. Actually, I'm sneaking off to the shop, so I managed to get out the back door without the wife noticing. Um, I'm going to go and pick up some popcorn, salt and sweet. Um, and we're going to have a movie night, I think. <sighs> because why not? Um, I've already grabbed one of the items for tomorrow, so I can, I've got that to hand. But yeah, so far, just the five items. Hopeful it's going to be at least double figures by tomorrow. The Night King has sold for $8.99 plus shipping. Gold Raphael sold for $26.99 plus shipping. On a PS2, Batman Vengeance, £8.09. pence. All in. Yeah, the, uh, the sending offers out has really screwed with the numbers. On the PS3, GTA 5, $5.99. All in. Uh, yeah, sales. Let's get rid of it. Let's get it out. Some very nice Samuel Windsor Black Brogues, twenty two forty nine, plus shipping. Uh, these again went out on an offer from Yu Gi Oh. We have sold this Black Luster Soldier for seven pound twenty plus shipping, and thirty one pounds forty nine for this very questionable O'Neill Snow Winter Jacket type thing. 
it's Monday morning. Those are the stacks. So it's it's Monday afternoon now, and I don't quite know how this week is going to go for, for everything. Uh, I've got a form of vertigo at the moment. I've never had it before. It's bloody weird. <laughs> so it's all started uh, Friday night. I, I think I must have been having really vivid dreams, but I was waking up with having a mild panic attack and while being half asleep I managed to breathe myself through it I've not had panic attacks for years uh, so I don't know whether that caused anything or whether there was something going on then I started to feel dizzy this was about 3 30 in the morning I started to feel really dizzy and because I had to keep on sitting upright to stop the dizziness I went and slept downstairs until about seven o'clock uh, so it turns out I've I've got a, an ear infection in one of the inner parts of your ear. I think there's three different parts and it's in one of the other parts where there's two little things that, or there's bits that stick together. And when two or more of those things stick together, it can affect your balance. So basically, you know, when back in your younger years, you'd go out on the lash and you'd wake up in the early hours of the morning, still under the influence and be very, very wobbly. It's that. And it was constant. I'm now on medication, which will hopefully see this out, which will hopefully be a few, couple of days. Bear in mind, I had a meeting on Wednesday. I've got a really important meeting, which I now can't go to. Uh, so I can either not take the medication and be dizzy and not drive, or take the medication and be sleepy and not drive. So either way, I'm stuck at home. I spend... 90% of Saturday asleep. Uh, I slept, I stayed in bed the whole day, lights off, no noise, no nothing, just stayed still. It got to the point, honestly, where I was just moving my my hand or my arm and it felt like my, the whole of my body was just swaying. It, w it was so disorientating. Um, and even last night being Sunday night, uh, I lay downstairs listening to the telly just to not be on my own for a while and uh, I stood up and I, I honestly felt like I had I'd had a lot to drink. I sort of just started stumbling. Uh, this morning I thought I was going to be okay. Um, got up, felt fine, had a shower. Uh, I think I took a few steps outside and realised that I wasn't okay yet. So just a lot of stumbling around, which is really annoying. Um, there's nothing worse than having time off and not being able to do anything it's really really sucky uh, but it's nothing i can do so at the moment um i'm hoping my my old man's gonna come uh, come and pick up my daughter tomorrow because obviously i can't drive to uh, to drop her off it depends on what time the wife's meeting starts tomorrow uh and then charity shop runs not charity shop runs post office runs uh, my wife is having to do in the morning which is not particularly pleasing her, but it is what it is. So I don't know what the rest of the video is going to be like this week. There might be a car boot video. I doubt there's going to be a charity shop video. It just depends on when this clears up. It should hopefully be Thursday or Friday. I'll be back to normal, I hope. Um, if not, I might go a little stir crazy. On the PS3, we have sold Mod Nation Racers for six ninety nine, all in. $139.99 for a nice selection of Game Boy Advance and just maybe Advance games actually. We have sold Prince Adam for £19 plus shipping on an auction. Uh, I mean, this is one, one of the ones where I'm going 50-50 on someone with. So yeah, nice to get our first one out the door. We have sold the Sidewinder from 1995 for £99.99 plus shipping and it's going out via the GSP. For four ninety nine, all in, we have sold Battlefront on the PS4. Definitely didn't have to get this just out of the PS4 because I was going to play it. Oh, and that label printer I had for ages that cost me about seven pound fifty. Sold for thirty four seventy seven on auctions, and it's pretty much in that box, ready to go. It's not a lot, but those are the Tuesday morning stacks. We have sold some Loot Crate exclusive sake cups for nineteen ninety nine, all in. I've got about fifty of these, cost me a couple of quid each. Um, hopefully these will now start flying out the door because um, they're taking up a lot of room. Orco sold for £14.99 plus shipping. Lighting's terrible, one minute. 
$14.99 plus shipping, one of the items which cost me nothing, and I'm going 50-50 with uh, the person who owns it all. Okay, next up, looking for Yoshi on the Wii U, which I think is in the Wii draw. Ah, oh, there it is, right at the back. It sold for $16.99 all in, and I can't get it out like this. Why did I put it over there? Oh, hang on, hang on. There we go. $16.99 all in, bought it a couple of weeks back for a quid. Next up is this lovely Reese jacket. It's the model Jericho. It's actually really, really nice. Sold it for 50 quid plus shipping. I had to get it out to make sure it was the right one. I actually found the product number down the side, which made life a lot easier. Um, maybe in future with jackets, if I can find the style, I might write it on the actual bag that it goes in rather than have to dig it out every time. But yeah, as I'm sure you're all aware, Reese is a very good brand. Keep an eye out for it. 50 quid plus shipping on the PS1 for 37.99 plus shipping. We have sold Resident Evil 3 Nemesis, a part of the collection that I am forever thinning down. F in the chat, please. And probably the last sale of the day, as it's getting quite late on and I'm not going anywhere else. Uh, hair straighteners, 19.99 plus signed for shipping. Cost eight quid, I think, maybe six. That sounds about right. And there we go, all done, ready for the wife to take to the post office on Wednesday morning because I'm still not allowed to drive. He'll be going out tomorrow, but he's in the office, so I'm gonna showcase him now. It is a Marvel Collector Core Deadpool, 22.99 plus shipping, going by the GSP to Denmark. Um, I, I do miss that sub box because it has some really nice geeky stuff. But Deadpool, unfortunately, does not fit my collection right now. In fact, a lot of Funko Pops don't fit my collection right now. Wednesday morning and I've been busy. It is listed, no, drafted, uh, and I'm just packaging it all up. I'm not gonna go into the loft until I've taken my medication and I'm gonna be hopefully not dizzy and not quite tired, just to be on the safe side. I just gonna make sure that I'm feeling okay first. But I'm currently watching the Commonwealth Pickup. It's, um, it's annoying to see how good the stuff is in the States. Time to put these away and grab some orders. Big box PC game, Ignition, sold for $49.99, plus shipping, going out to Australia via the GSP. A load of rose, stretchy, A-gate, R-gate, ring thingy, uh, $39.99, plus shipping. Fair to say that today's been somewhat productive. Uh, still got loads of drafts done, uh, and got loads of listing done. So we've got 16 items about to go live. Uh, for the grand total of £411.84. Uh, our seven day total is also looking quite healthy as well. Um, like really weird. Like, I still see people moaning on the groups all the time that they're, they're doing really bad and, and, and stuff. Uh, my seven day total at the moment is 975 quid. My 31 day total is just shy of four grand. My 90 day total is just shy of 10 grand. I don't know what I'm doing, but obviously I'm doing something right. It's Thursday late morning and I actually feel well enough to go to the post office myself. So I might have to go to three charity shops. Sold my last Kudos action mount pack. Uh, basically it does that. It allows you to put extra bits on stuff. $14.99 all in. Didn't cost me anything. Uh, it came as part of a freebie where some lovely, wonderful person who has still not revealed who on earth they are sent me 10 of these, maybe 15, and a, a GoPro when I didn't have any money. Um, I still don't know who you are, but I'm still very grateful. By the way, I did go to the chat shop earlier. Um, it's rubbish. I've not been to a chat shop all week. And went into three, and they were all crap. Um, so one of them had the exact same Sam Windsor shoes that I picked up last week, the V63 or something or other. The exact same ones, brand new, in the box, but obviously damaged by something, somehow. Uh, 35 quid they wanted. But, yeah, it's a bit, bit scratched up and beaten up, so I didn't pick those up. Um, but my God, it was nice to get out of the house. Now to get... Deeper into the house by going in the loft. From the personal collection, Pac-Man on a Game Boy Color sold for $34.99 plus shipping. Right then. Ooh, 
battered cod. Uh, we're now looking for Cars 2, actually. On the Xbox 360, it sold for uh, 12.99, I think. Sounds about right. All in. We have sold an Admiral's Orders playmat for 12.99. No. Really? Maybe? Yeah. Sure. Why not? Plus shipping, possibly. Probably. I don't know. Friday, late morning stacks. Uh, time to go to the post office, three charity shops, and then go and quote for a job, which I am very much forward looking. That wasn't a sentence. Um, but yeah, you get the gist. I'm just looking forward to getting out of the house again. Finally. So, I've um, I may be at McDonald's. I didn't eat Saturday. The weekend just gone. Uh, ate very little Sunday, and I've been eating really well all week because obviously I've been stuck at home. Been to four charity shops, uh, bought bugger all. A lot of the same stuff that was there from before I was ill. Um, so I went to Smith's, bought two EV V Max EV Lucian V Max boxes. Um, it's limited to one of each per customer, so I'll go back there and grab some for uh, friends and family, which I tend to do with everything that comes out at the moment. Um, yeah, it's, it's so nice to be out of the house and like be out and about. Uh, just so you know, three piece chicken selects meal and much the dippers for lunch. And I cannot wait. £54.98 plus shipping uh, individually, so I have to refund the guy half, obviously, because they should go as a small parcel together quite comfortably. But yeah, not bad for those games that I picked up a little while ago. They're, they're still trickling out. And generating that profit so the week is done and dusted and the the week has been really good again uh seven day total is 824 pounds and 72 pence our 31 day total is 3820 pounds and 49 pence and our 90 day total is 9792 pounds and 38 pence uh, obviously it doesn't take into consideration the cost of items uh, sometimes postage and things like that. Uh, but considering I've been a bit worse for wears this week and I'm not used to being ill at all, do not like it, not a fan, uh, don't really want to do that again. Uh, it, it's been amazing. I've, I've barely listed, I've listed like four or five items, if that. And it's, and it's been good again. I'm just confused <laughs> as to the way that things are. If it carries on like this, I'm going to be a very, very happy boy indeed. Um, but yeah, off to download all of this lot um, and then hopefully sort out some paperworky things for some other bits. So uh, I'll hopefully see you Friday for the car boot that I'm going to be going to in two days' time. Au revoir.